Good morning. How are you guys doing today? So yesterday I had a video up about why I said you guys should just start strength training today and the importance of it. And I had a few people kind of reach out to me and say, this is awesome. I totally agree. But where do I get started if I've got nothing, if I'm not doing anything? So I figured I'd give you a few of my easy, basic things that anybody can do from home. Check it out. Let's talk about it. Welcome to my kitchen. So first off, one of the things you can do that really works well is what we call the countertop push-up. Find your counter, get yourself with your hands on your counter about shoulder width apart, body nice and straight from head to heel, lower yourself down to your counter, push yourself back up. Lower yourself down slowly with control. Okay, if that's a little bit too much work and you really can't do that, put one foot in front of the other, right? And work on a counter push-up. The big thing, is the range of motion, getting all the way down and all the way up and making sure that you can feel yourself squeeze your muscles when you're doing it. How many do you do? I don't know, we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, welcome to my deck. So next one up, simple, like I would tell you to do some squats, but sometimes those are a little bit scary for people to kind of get started with. But you can simply start with what we call a sit to stand. Come down, sit down in a normal chair, stand right back up sit down this gives you the feeling the safety the security that you're going to sit down on something at the same time we're strengthening our legs sit down and stand up don't overthink it don't overcomplicate it we're just getting started Good. all right we're back in the kitchen so now we're going to grab something out of the refrigerator check it out gallon of milk a gallon of anything one gallon equals eight pounds, right? One gallon equals eight pounds. So you can have one or two of them. So you don't have dumbbells at home, but you need to get started. You can take one or two dumbbells, right? Or one or two gallons. You can sit here and you can do bicep curls with your milk. If it's too heavy, fill it up halfway. And it's only four pounds. You can even make marks on like how heavy it is so you can progress as you go along. Maybe you want to add a little bit of pushing work in there, okay? We can do presses with your gallon of milk, right? We can press overhead. Think about reaching up and reaching to something, okay? It puts a little bit of resistance and a little bit of tension against your muscles and it's really good for you. So you don't have to overthink it. It doesn't have to be overcomplicated. Yes, you're gonna progress and you're gonna wanna probably use something else, but you can start with chair, I'm sorry, with countertop push-ups sit to stand squats, bicep curls, and presses, all just using things you have around the house. Now, how much do we do? Set yourself a target for each day for right now. Let's say a great place to start would be, we'll say 40 repetitions throughout your whole day, right? If you're never doing anything before, if you haven't done any kind of strength training before, let's take 40 repetitions of each exercise and spread them throughout your day. As you get better, we can start to talk about how do we bring that into a bit more of a concise pattern. But right now, two things are happening when you do that. One, you are creating more overall activity for your body and you are strengthening your muscles, making yourself more metabolically active and making yourself more resilient to future possible injuries. It's just good for you. So those are a few ways to kind of get started in your world, at home, even if you don't have anything around. See ya, have a great Tuesday.